Uh, this time, uh, maybe you wonder why uh, I try my best to use the second language. Our second language is English. So, um, we can reach the other people that we didn't understand in our language. Um, I know my English is so basic, but I try my best to do something and we can spread this in every corner of this planet. God, he want to spread this and all over the world. Uh, anyone engaged? Nothing yet. Oh, there already. How many of them? In Facebook, we have four, but maybe they don't have access in the Zoom. Okay, um, I'm going today is, uh, this is a special uh, Zoom meeting and at the same time, we are on live on Facebook page. So uh, it's a little bit uh, different. I never, I never uh, speak English uh, ever, ever when I have a live. So I try to explain the message of God uh, from last night and other messages uh, about the uh, vaccine. The last, the message last week, last week and together the message last night. So, before that, I would like to uh, say good afternoon and good evening, good morning, everyone, wherever you are. So, and God bless us all. Um, to those people who uh, know me already, and you know what I'm doing. And for those newcomers, uh, those who are uh, reading and watching the live video, especially on YouTube, um, uh, you become, please, you become, you will be curious and about of your city, you can open uh, my YouTube channel and listen of the some of the video. And if you can understand the what I'm writing on Facebook page, you can still digging there. And you discovered so many things. Guys, uh, I know you know me. Um, I know it's hard for me to do this uh, in this way. But God wants me to spread this all over the world. So I try my best. Um, to speak, to use English language. Uh, God asked me to do fruits and healing. So,
God has re remind us for the second coming, but he gave me a power of mind. This power of mind, according to him, is powerful because we can see what uh, people has and most of at least most powerful when become a spirit because we can see sin of people alive or dead. But above all, I can see the future becoming happen, especially tragedy. So this is the uh, uh, power of mind and also used for reading this is of God. Why God asked me to do this praise and healing? A uh, God, he want to remind people to correct the faith that we have that because people as they know faith is by doing of by doing or go to church is enough for faith but this is not uh, the real faith in accordance to God's will. Uh, faith is um, not from the church, not from the Bibles, not from the prayers and other teaching from the church, especially religion. Guys, religion is a special type of business. So God want me to correct and is freed the Paul's teaching by the priest and the pastors. Faith is coming from our heart, which is love. How we live this planet to deal with our fellow human being, all these things around us, God creation, of how we look after of it. And that is faith. We just do good things while we are in this planet, while we are alive. In every moment, we do good things. That is faith. But those things, what we learn from the church, all of these things is not really faith. That is a, go, uh, that is a false teaching. Like the Bibles that we know that all of the words from there is from, the, from God, but in the reality, uh, not all words from the Bible is from God. Uh, we know that uh, we don't have Bible before before uh, 
after uh, Jesus Christ or oh God become a human being, uh, he is a Jesus Christ. After that, how many years pass? People gather all, all um, in stories, uh, information from someone else, and put together, and bind together, and become Bibles. And people uh, believe that all of those uh, words is from God, but doesn't really from God. Uh, some of them is from him, but not all words is from God. But people know, but people believes that all of those words is from him. I believe in my faith ever since when I'm still young, uh, we love, we, sh we should love God. We don't need to use his name and his words to earn money and other things and we use when we live this planet when we while we are alive so that is my real uh, faith so that's why god uh, said to me uh, you are the one truly believe in me jesus christ so i lead you to come back on the planet uh, planet and I lead you to do healing and preach. Uh, save, you need to save people. So that's why um, I'm here. So those people know me 10, 10, 10 years ago. I know you know me already. But you guys, those who are uh, English uh, people, if you need, if you need to know what I'm doing or what I've done, everything is in all social media, uh, in my FB page. Uh, in YouTube, in my YouTube channel, you can open and uh, listen and watch. There are so many things there. And then you will discover what I've done. So, If um, I tell you about the um, strong typhoon, if you remember in, in what was happened in the Philippines in 2013, uh, that was a uh, Yolanda, um, that is a super typhoon. Um, is already in YouTube uh, together with a uh, uh, news uh, uh, report and in my posting, I write that uh, five times and I wrote that uh, this type on I call this uh, super typhoon, and it could be 
uh, you lose the electricity. The water from the sea come up to the land. The loss of the communication uh, signal. They run out of coffin. Uh, so many people will die and missing. All of that uh, is very clear on my posting. After five months, uh, Yolanda a typhoon come or arrive uh, called Yolanda. And I mentioned also that the typhoon will landed on Leti and that was landed on, in Takloban, which under uh, Leti Island. So everything is very accurate. So when the time is come, uh, all I mentioned on my posting, it was happened. So not only Yolanda, I did. Um, if I mentioned to you the tsunami in Indonesia, I also wrote that um, after uh, two months, I think two months, and it was also happened. I also um, uh, appoint the uh, country. Uh, you can uh, uh, show there what exactly what I written. And then I also wrote the about the melting of ice on in Alaska. I wrote that uh, September 2018, and it was happened 2019. And also the uh, candidacy presidency of uh, Duterte, I also wrote that what will happen when he will sitting there, when become when he become a president, and the war also in uh, Marawi, I also wrote that, and it's very uh, accurate. The chemical attack in Syria, I wrote that and then after two weeks, it was happened. The, if you remember the volcano erupt in Japan that long time ago, never uh, erupt and that was after I wrote that, it was happened, erupted, and very. I'm. It's very clear there when uh, I stated there that there are so many people died when the volcano will erupt. So it was also happened, and the uh, volcano in Hawaii. If you read the. Uh, uh, the message of God, uh, of God, how I wrote that, so you can see there, and so many things I've done, and God said the power of my power of mind that He gave to me, uh, I can also see the sin of people, dead or alive, so so many so many people I did. 
uh, when I do healing, um, I also uh, say them their sin, and they have so many testimony, and uh, there are so many. And I do also healing There's so many different uh, illness of uh, people and they will be cured because God said they will be cured uh, when, when the um, hearing your voice, but they will be cured according to his according to their uh, faith so when the um when we have um, covid 19 um that was a start on uh, 2019 and by March on 2019 God said to me that don't scared of COVID because even COVID uh, in, even people uh, infected of COVID virus they will still uh, cure when you do healing to them. So God is a prophet. After that, I did a healing for those COVID patients. Um, positive and symptoms. Until now, I'm still doing it. And... other illness there are so many so um it's hard to believe because no one this uh, generation uh we don't we don't heard anyone that god talking like me we know that before God talking um, to those we call the um, disciples and like uh, Noah and other um, and other people used by God. Um, I know uh, it's hard for you guys to believe, but if you open your mind and heart, I know the time is come. You will find out that God is truly using me as instrument. All misses from him is become true. I'm doing this for 11 years already. And according to his message, uh, no one, no priests and pastors that they come to you and no media um, what you call uh, like they ignore you something like that so everything is true because until now no media man um, helping me to spread the words of God and no pastors and no friends uh, come to me that 
um, you know, asking what I'm doing and especially what I'm spreading, what, what I'm spreading in this world, that all this, all their teaching is uh, um, false and not from God. And they, their teaching is just all about uh, collecting money to those people who believe uh, their teaching. So I think it's uh, is uh, enough for the the preaching. And I will start the message of God uh, from uh, what happened about this uh, uh, vaccine. Um, actually, guys, uh, for my own, I don't want it to have a vaccine because I know vaccine is not really fully studied. We know that when making a vaccine, you need to study for 10 years or more. But this time, uh, we got a vaccine within one year or less. So very clear that the vaccine uh, is not really helpful. And we can see what ha what's happening now? People are vaccinated. Um, they are still still wearing a, a face mask. Uh, they have a message of God. He said that if the vaccine is uh, uh, effect in effective and protect the health of everyone. Uh, why they is still uh, uh, wearing the peace mask? They should remove it and we will see what will happen. But people, they are um, vaccinated, they are still wearing, so it means they knows that they are not protected. So when the time is come, the COVID-19 is getting worse in every country. So the leaders of every country um, want people to have vaccine. So here in Australia, when uh, the government ordered that all those uh, um, people here, we should uh, have it, but my my employer asked me to get it, but I told them uh, that I'm not ready yet because of the vaccine is not really uh, studied uh, well. So at the same time, I'm asking our God that uh, I ask him that I need to get or not because of what I'm doing. Uh, and every borders is required, this vaccine. So if I don't have that, how can I travel back to the Philippines and in every place 
in the Philippines because the any officials in the government they have their own way um, policy uh, that they required and every individual enter the their place they should have vaccinated vaccinated so i asked god for so many times but finally uh two weeks ago uh, he asked me that he is happy that i got this uh, vaccine so if you remember guys the uh, message from him from god uh, remember you re if you remember that god uh, someone come to me that the message uh, giving me a piece of paper like an a4 folded and then i receive it and when i hold this uh uh paper like a uh, floppy you know floppy very soft uh, silicon and then it's still folded and then i'm just thinking what is this and then someone coming to me approaching to me and then when i turn my head uh, jesus christ is arriving and he said to me that is uh, by uh, Pfizer. So when I think that this Pfizer, I need to go to my clinic to bring it. And Jesus Christ said, yeah, and he clapped his hand. So in this uh, section, uh, this message, this is the answer of my uh what i'm asking him before i sleep that day at uh, that night i asked him what will i do about this uh vaccine because of this situation so that was his answer that he will happy uh, he is happy that i get this vaccine so I decide to get it and we can use um, when I go back home to do all this what God he want me to do and then continue the message when I'm thinking that I'm going to the clinic and that um, is stated on the message but actually the Pfizer is a uh, clinic is far from our place. Uh, we need to travel at least one hour drive. And then the clinic is close to me. So I just wondering if we can get it from here. So I talked to my wife and Mary about the message and then next day i call to the clinic that if the uh, pfizer vaccine is available and he just said to me i can can you uh, wait for how many minutes and then i'll talk to someone else so I'm waiting for a few minutes and someone talked to me uh, like far. Uh, I, can, I can tell that it's far from our place. So he asking some question and he want me to fill up the form and so on and so forth. So, and because I'm almost leaving the time on my work, so I asked mary to do to do it and he and after that she called to the clinic and lucky 
we are lucky because what what is on the message that I can get the vaccine on the clinic. So finally, we don't travel far. Uh, just on the we can walk uh, walking distance only uh, close to my work. So uh, I have a schedule booking uh, tomorrow morning. Uh, tomorrow afternoon. So yeah, um, exactly the message is very perfect. It's very accurate. So it's uh, it's very clear that God talking to me because according to him, I am the one planning your life uh, this time, he said. So why I'm telling you the, this, guys? Because the message that I'm going to explain to you last from last night, this is uh, related. So the message from last night is um, if you are reading now, uh, I'm on the middle of uphill. And then when I'm looking down, I saw so many people there, uh, uh, children, uh, ladies, um, old, uh, something like that. And then when I look at on the top, I saw mean I saw also many people from the top. And then while I'm with I'm watching them, they are throwing me a long rope. The rope is tangled each other. When they're throwing uh, towards me, I'm lucky that I I escape it. So the rope is going down on the bottom. So when I look at them, people cuts or hit on the rope. They are tied up. So again, when I look at the ground, I saw the rifles there and other stuff like gown and so many. So again, the people on the top try again to throwing the rope towards me, to catch me. And what I did, I take the rifles and then pitching to them. And then I want to shoot them, but the rifle doesn't uh, work, doesn't shoot. So I put the rifles again on the ground and then the attempt again to throwing the rope against towards me and then finally they hit me and then I run drag down there on the bottom and then we are tied up all of people down we are we are tied up of the rope so while we are standing there um, we don't have clothes so back to back uh, standing back to back and then I just wondering why it was happened. So the person next to me, um, we are uh, staring each other and the people from the top, they going down and then they going around. And then one of them, they said, Uh, one day I let you to get free. So the person is looking at me and he is smi smiling and he said he didn't know, they didn't know that we are Filipino. So he said we can go back to our country, Philippines. 
Now, I explain to you guys this message. I know it's hard for you to understand if I know because it's hard for you because you don't have power of mind. So I will explain to you guys using the power of mind. Uh, the people on the top, they are the top position on every country. President, minister, mayor, and more. And the people down there, uh, they are all citizens on every country. The rope is the rope throwing is that is the vaccine imposed by them to the citizen of the country to have it. And then the rope that you want me to catch first time I I did to escape. It means in by myself I don't want to have it. But at the end I realize that I need it. That's why I ask God that what will I do on this vaccine? So now I'm getting there to get it, this vaccine. So that's why I'm included on those people down that I'm one, I am the one tied up of the rope. The vaccine is if you uh, look at the message is back to back. It means back to back and then I see them sin. So back to back, it means back sin, a back and then when I saw them tied up, sin and then uh, yeah, the back sin. That is a, in short, that is a back sin. But according to God, uh, to those uh, people, um, take the rights on every human being. because of this vaccine using as a power to impose that all people should be vaccinated. So people know no choice. We need to get it because otherwise we couldn't do anything. We couldn't do what we want. So all the top position on every country, we are tied up because of this vaccine. Now he said, all people take the rights on every human being on this planet. It will be punishable by God. Under the law of God, they are punishable after that. It means when they will die because Every one of us, we will get there. 
And that is the time that God will punish them. Guys, it's so sad that because of this vaccine, people use it as a power. Wherever you go, we need vaccine. So what we can do? We need to get it. And then life is gone. That is the message of God today. Thank you for listening. And God bless us all. And see you on another live. Thank you, Miski, for your uh, helping me using your song. And see you next time. Oh, it's done, Brother Nice. I thought you would have more. What's more? <laughs> What's more? No, just kidding. Anyway, to everyone, Brother Nurse is using English so more people will understand around the world. So I think some people, maybe they are surprised why you are speaking English, Brother Nurse. No, it's not really English. It is uh, uh, very poor English, Miss K. Um, I know it's so basic, but I try my best that I can reach the understanding of others and then they will realize that God is here, remind us for second coming. Well, that's good, Brother Nurse, because we will be posting this in YouTube. At least people will understand what you're talking about. So if they are interested, uh, out of curiosity, uh, they can uh, open my YouTube channel and other social media. Uh, yeah, at the same time in uh, Facebook, Brother Nars, I provided um, the English version about you. At the same time, the link. So they can check it out, the English version about why Jesus Christ called the Bible as an ordinary book. So yeah. I think if people are curious, they can check it out. Um, there are some links provided. At the same time, the link of your website. Because once they go to Narciso Olalo's website, it's easy for them to click the link in different social media. Facebook, YouTube, uh, Twitter interest and more so that is if they're interested but if they are not then well yes. that's their choice it, it, leave it to them we don't we don't force uh, uh, people to uh, believe but if they are open mind open heart uh, they can you know look at my page and you can see what I've done. I think time has come, they will realize that the visions of God that I received and, and is spread uh, all over the world, uh, they will be realized that is, everything is true. I know it's hard for them, but yeah, just we keep going and then uh, we will achieve the goal 
of what God want to us. And to everyone listening, for those people who are English speaking, uh, if you are interested to read uh, the English version, please feel free to email follower narcisoolalo at gmail.com and I can provide the English version, although these are all posted in different social media but I know it's difficult to find those English version. You can post in Narciso Olalo's uh, Facebook account as well and request for an English version. I would be happy to provide you the copy of the English version, the translation of Selected God's Messages. I am very sure there are many people listening out there in Facebook because I posted also in Right Faith Facebook account and to the people who will listen on YouTube in the next few days, yes, uh, feel free to post or email at follower narcisoolalo at gmail.com and we will respond to your request within 48 hours, business 48 hours. That's a promise for those people who are interested. So I have, a pro I have a problem now, Ms. K. Yes. From now on, I couldn't understand anymore in Tagalog. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised earlier, Brother Nurse. Uh, this is, uh, well, this is an informal Bro, conversation. Ross, he, he is laughing. And I said, uh, <laughs> I think Narcis now is getting lost. <laughs> don't worry, Ross. Uh, don't worry, uh, Ross. I'm not uh, getting crazy. I just, you know, like uh, I, I also share here. Uh, actually, I want to share with you guys uh, today. Uh, my employer uh, last week as, again uh, as well. Uh, Friday, that was Friday. He asked me about my vaccine and then uh, I told them that I'm sorry out and actually I have already um, booking and then I also mentioned to him the message of God. I told him that I don't get this vaccine because of my work. Uh, I get this vaccine because God asked me to get a vaccine for what I'm doing because he knows that I'm do I'm a fit healer and then I do healing rich and healing uh, and he said uh, I know nurse what are you doing but the wife is I don't know if she knows and then even they look at me uh, staring like the he, her eyes doesn't really blink it oh what happened to nurse is you know it's getting crazy so, uh, but the, the husband is, is, he knows uh, ever since. And then the other, because they have to, uh, I have to employer. So the other one, they asked me again this morning and about my vaccine and the same thing. I told him about the message of God. And when he listening to me and he said, what God uh, told you, and I told him, uh, God, uh, he want me to uh, get this vaccine, and he is happy. And then because of the what happened on every country, um, uh, they are required the vaccine, and we couldn't. Uh, do something we couldn't do with we, we couldn't go everywhere because of the every borders uh, required uh, this vaccine so and I mentioned to him that all people uh, or anyone take the rights of the human being every human being 
uh, according to God, they, they are punishable under His law, but it will be happen after death. And when he when he hear that, he like he shock, and he th he think that he is the one also punishable because he is the one forcing me to have a vaccine. But I repeat him again, and then uh, I don't know what he think. And then I I have I have a little bit uh, friends to him because he is a. Uh, I don't know what is uh, religion. And then I told him that God sent us here in this, uh, us in this planet, that we have freedom. Uh, we can choose what we want. Uh, the uh, hell and paradise is uh, um, real. Uh, in human being and then uh, I know he believed in me because I mentioned to him that I'm doing I, I mentioned to him that uh, I'm not scared with the uh, COVID-19 because uh, I did uh, so many healing for those uh, people infected uh, in COVID uh, they are they are positive they still cure and also so many symptoms of covid i mentioned to him that if those people sick without uh, no smell and no test and 100 percent it will be positive on covid and he said he believed because i also hear once uh, if, if the person that has the, that has uh, that symptoms is also um, positive on COVID. So yeah, um, and then after that, I talked to my manager and I asked the manager, uh, maybe he think that I'm, getting crazy and lost and he said and then my manager said uh, nurse he knows what you're doing but because of the government uh what the government imposed now uh, that's why he he's worried that he will lose you because here if you don't have vaccine it could be uh you will be kicked out you know of the, your job but anyway uh that is the story so guys I know uh, it's uh, new for you guys that I'm speaking English. Even uh, I'm difficult for me and struggling, but I'm trying my best, guys, uh, that we can reach uh, other people those English language. So I try my best, and God, I know God is helping me. Uh, since long time ago, he wants me to do English 